Hey guys, how's it going? I am the Conflict Nerd, hello and welcome back to Orts Online. It turns out that people get angry when their thoughts and opinions and their game is challenged. In my first Ort Online video, and in many people's first Ort Online videos, the comment section seems to be split, with people that say, this game looks awesome, I'm going to go and buy it, and people that say, no, this is just another Minecraft clone. Can I point out that Minecraft itself cloned many another game to get where it is today? I'm just saying, Minecraft isn't necessarily an original concept in and of itself, but that aside, I want to try and bring an end to this silly fight that's going on because gaming isn't necessarily a competition, not indie gaming anyway, or it shouldn't be. And I know that today Minecraft is, well it's technically an indie game but Mojang's not really an indie company anymore so it's a bit of a grey area there but we don't need this competition because when people say that Ort Online is the next Minecraft. We don't mean that it's going to cause Minecraft to vanish. Because Minecraft's going to be around for numerous years to come. That's just a fact. But what we mean is that Ort Online could be the next game to get the recognition that Minecraft got. Even a fraction of it would be amazing to see. We mean that this could be the game that YouTubers are all over, people are all over and loving, there are massive creative builds and amazing survival stories, there's people trying to walk to the edge of the map, etc, etc. We've got all of these amazing things going on inside this game and inside this community, and I firmly believe, and other YouTubers firmly believe, that it's possible for Ort Online to do that in the coming months and coming years if we help it to do that, if we show it the love and appreciation that I think it deserves because for such a young game, I firmly believe that Ort Online is already incredibly impressive. Now let's take a look at World of Warcraft, okay? World of Warcraft is... 10 years old this November, and even today there are companies still trying to clone it. And I don't mean other MMOs on the market, you know, doing their thing. I mean there are games coming out that try to clone the World of Warcraft format, and that is not good. That's good for World of Warcraft because it means that they can sit in their high horse and say, meh, peasants. But it's not good for the industry because there's no progress, there's no innovation. Okay, and I don't mean the innovation that EA put into Dungeon Keeper because we all know what happened there. I mean the innovation that is really needed for an industry like the gaming industry. Okay, so across the last couple of years we've seen numerous Minecraft clones. We've seen Fortress Craft and all of the terrible Minecraft clones that wound up on the Xbox indie section before Minecraft came to Xbox. We've seen numerous Minecraft clones pop up on early access on Steam, some of which have been abandoned, some of which I've played and torn apart. What we're seeing now is a collection of games surfacing that are somewhat more unique. Now a lot of people thought that Cube World was very much going to be that game. It was going to be the game that was the pr providing the needed innovation to the genre, the style of game that is and is around Minecraft. Now, like I said, Minecraft isn't the first game to do what it did, but it's the first game to get as big as it did. So I'm going to use Minecraft as the basis for this genre slash style of game. Now, Minecraft being that, like I said, we saw numerous clones of it. We've seen numerous clones of World of Warcraft. And while it's great for games like World of Warcraft and great for games like Minecraft, those are still older games and they need to stop being cloned and they need to be built upon. You can only clone something so many times 
before it gets irrelevant and boring and silly and frankly pointless. And we've gotten to the point where it is pointless to clone World of Warcraft because people realize that as many times as you may be able to clone it, World of Warcraft still has that pure experience. The only way an MMO these days is going to really go anywhere is to properly be unique. And even then, that's risky. I understand why people clone World of Warcraft, because it was successful. That's why people clone Minecraft, because it was successful. They want a slice of that pie. The thing is, Orts Online isn't cloning Minecraft. It is taking bits of games like Minecraft and other RPGs and MMOs and it's putting it all together into an experience that has the open world survival sandbox. It has those dungeons and bosses and PvP and fighting that you love from so many other games and that's what's being combined together here. So when we say that it's going to overthrow Minecraft or that it's the next Minecraft, we mean that it's actually innovating. It's taking a step further and it's actually changing things and developing things and improving upon things to make a better experience that will be familiar and also new to anyone that played something like Minecraft or World of Warcraft. Now, of course, we're not expecting World of Warcraft out of Ort Online. I don't think it's going to be that scale of an MMO. But they have said there will be MMORPG elements in the game. I firmly believe they can do it. But it is going to be familiar. In the same way that if you play Battlefield for 10 years and then play Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, it's going to be familiar because the core concept is there. It's a first-person shooter. But it's also going to be quite new because you've got loads of other aspects to learn that doesn't necessarily play the same way, but it is in the same kind of genre. It is in the same style, okay? So that's what I mean with Ort Online. That's why I'm comparing both World of Warcraft and Minecraft to Ort Online. Because with Minecraft, you've got the open world survival sandbox. In Ort Online, you're going to have the open world survival sandbox. In World of Warcraft, you've got the dungeons and raiding and bosses. In Ort Online, you're going to have the dungeons and raiding and bosses. World of Warcraft fans can play it and go, oh, wait a minute, I sort of get the dungeons and raiding and bosses here, and then Minecraft fans can play it and go, oh, I sort of get this open world survival sandbox thing that's going on here. They can sort of meld together, they can come together as friends and maybe enemies and generally enjoy the experience that they are having. So, why is that a bad thing? Why are people worried that Ort Online is going to overthrow Minecraft? Now, it's not going to overthrow World of Warcraft. I'm not implying that at all. I'm just, again, using it as a basis for comparison. But why are people worried that Ort Online is going to overthrow Minecraft? I get it. People are maybe saying that it's going to knock Minecraft off of its pedestal and you're maybe a little bit worried that less and less people are going to play your precious game. But you have to be aware that someday, whether, whether Ort Online does it or helps with it, or even mildly contributes to it, someday Minecraft is going to cease. Mojang are going to stop updating it, and people are going to slowly but surely stop playing it and go play other things. It's the way gaming works. It's why Nintendo is having so much trouble lately, because people have been playing the same games for 20 years and are now getting sick of it. So whether it's this year, next year, five years from now, ten years from now, or twenty years from now, Minecraft will go the same way. In the same way, Battlefield, and Call of Duty, and The Sims, and Halo, and Gears of War will all go the same way. It's how gaming works. Innovation and development is crucial to gaming and the gaming industry. So, I suppose what I'm trying to say is, don't be insulted or worried or panicked or scared when a new game comes along that challenges a game that you love. Because it is a good thing. And it will push other developers to make bigger and better games. That's the way gaming works. That's the way it has always worked. It's just that Minecraft has been a, a, a the gateway drug for many people for PC gaming and gaming in general. There are many people that played Minecraft 
as their first game. There are many kids that played Minecraft as their first game and don't know that this is how it works, but it is. And I promise you that innovation and development and expanding upon prior ideas, I promise you that that is a good thing. So whether Ort Online is responsible for it or not, it's a good thing that we're seeing people develop upon the ideas that have been set in stone thanks to Minecraft. Now moving on, there are some crucial things that I would like to point out about Ort Online that I firmly believe are necessary before it sort of stands up on its own and says, I am here, I am ready, come and buy me. I think and even in these early stages, I think this is important. Now, I want to stress that I am fully aware that it is a prototype pre-alpha build. However, I believe that two things are incredibly important right now. Because, And the reason for this is that I'm seeing people talking about it on the forums and I'm seeing people say it in comment sections. Performance and a client. Performance is crucial for Ort Online mainly because it can become a little bit of a drag to play and build when it's laggy and slow and the frame rate's incredibly low. Now I do notice that the frame rate seems to be closely tied to the ping from a server so it might not inherently be the performance of the game, it might be the servers having trouble taking it, it might simply be because it's in a browser and you're pinging it through a browser, I don't know but I do firmly believe that performance is crucial. That said, I know all too well that the developers are aware of this and are in fact working on it. The same way I know they're working on a client, I know that they're aware that people want a client, but I think that is another crucial factor in Ort Online. I believe having good performance from the get-go and a good client would strongly help. Not necessarily a perfect client, not perfect performance, just better than what it is right now. That said, I don't expect performance to be nailed in the head and set in stone for quite some time. And the reason for that is that the way games work, or the way they're supposed to work, people have had these lines blurred so much lately, but if you're not aware, the way game development is supposed to work is that the alpha stages are where features are implemented in loose states, they work together but not perfectly, and then the game moves into beta. Beta is where the game is near enough feature complete and they are all being melded together to work really well together and actually seamlessly fit together so that everything just works and is the way you'd expect it and then the game launches. This is why I get pissed off when big budget developers release a game three, or sorry, release a alpha three months from launch and then a month later release a beta because it's not an alpha and it's certainly not a beta because three months prior to launch you're probably gonna be moving into the testing phases for a big budget AAA game, but whatever, that's just me being me. So with all that in mind, I do think having maybe a kind of flat level of performance would be nice with Ort Online because as we move into Alpha, we're going to see features being added and we're going to see performance take a hit as things are added that maybe don't work as well. But having a client would be really, really nice. A nice client would help because it would mean that us YouTubers could record it much easier and having that performance would mean that we can provide higher quality videos and streamers can do it as well. It would generally make it easier for people such as you, you know, myself. I'm, I'm not a huge YouTuber, but I'm seeing some huge YouTubers playing the game. I'm sure they would love for it to be easier to record and if the performance was higher, that would mean that they can do it more often so it's free promotion for the game. Anyway, that is pretty much it. I don't want to sound like I'm being selfish or bitchy or like I'm trying to sit on some high horse here because I'm not. I just want people to be aware that innovation isn't a bad thing. Don't be scared of it, embrace it because if you don't embrace it, we're never gonna move forward. It's as simple as that. As for the game, it's a pre-alpha prototype. I know it's not gonna run all that great right now, 
but I do believe that the some of the important steps right now are perhaps getting performance and a client just so that we we have the game on our system we can have it performing well and while you guys are working on the updates and all that stuff in the background we're sitting playing away and finding bugs and generally breaking the game or at least some of us are breaking the game some of us are laughing at the people breaking the game anyway folks thank you very much for watching you might simply have listened i don't know but yes thank you very much for watching please don't just go on a rampage in the comment section because that's not the point of this video this video is just to inform you what many youtubers including myself mean by this could be the next minecraft we don't think minecraft's gonna disappear we just think Ort online has the potential to be huge we love it and it's great so yes you can check out Ort online over on ortonline.com I do have a question though, what would you like to see added to Ort Online? It can be anything, what would you like to see in terms of crafting, gameplay, mechanics, the client, what would you like to see added to Ort Online? Leave your suggestions in the comments section below, I'm really curious to see what people come up with. And that is going to be it, thank you very much for watching, I've been the Conflict Nerd and I will see you next time, bye bye.